the Prez is in the chat, and there's a little something, because this is a question that he actually asked me. Now, Prez, uh, you're going to be putting me on the spot with this. Um, I think you may have asked me this question a year or two years ago. And it's one I've kind of, I've not really, really been putting this, answering this question off, but it's more a simple case of it. Sometimes it just skips my mind and what have you. But he actually asked me, actually asked me one time, would you ever consider opening a Patreon up to support your YouTube page? And if so, how much uh, would be your subscription fee? Here's the thing, but a year or two ago, I wasn't comfortable with that idea simply because I didn't feel as though, I didn't really feel as though that would be right for what I was be looking to do with my, with my channel because most of the things that I go and do for the channel, um, whenever I go off to do my movie reviews, I pay for my movie tickets and what have you myself. The equipment I use has all been paid for by myself. I didn't want to ha be in a position whereby I would be asking fans and subscribers for money just for them to see the same kind of see the same work, possibly slightly better if I was to actually start taking a subscription fee. But I will put this out, this question out to them uh, because at the end of the day, I do this first and foremost to not only entertain myself with it first because you have to be able to enjoy your work doing this. Otherwise, it's kind of fruitless. But at the same time, I do this for the people that have been watching me for the last 11 years. And maybe some of you, you know, maybe the last 11 months, weeks, days, or heck, even first 11 minutes. And if you're watching the first 11 minutes, hi, I'm MJ Knight. I'm, ent I'm an entertainer and it's nice to meet you. Um, but I put this question out. If I were to open a Patreon, would any of you support the idea? This is a genuine question. I have no plans to start anything up with this. I put this question out to all of you who are listening. If I were to open one, would you support it? I would definitely support it, but unfortunately I don't have a credit card slash debit card as long as I'm living here in Japan. Yeah, unfortunately I'm kind of a little strapped for cash, but I would support it. Well, that's good to know. Uh, Steven says he would support it. Aaron says he would support it. So, yeah. And for, for some people who have this idea that you need to down, you need to donate a certain specific amount of money. From what I understand with Patreon, you can donate as little as like one dollar a month. Like other like p certain individuals, either they allow people to donate as much as they want. Um, for every month or they can or for someone who makes a video you can donate certain money for just for a specific video although i think most people they just do it like make it a monthly thing so it's like if you put in one dollar that means you are donating one dollar a month because and this is the the other thing um because prez did kind of uh probe the question how much would you charge uh, I would only ask whatever they whatever they felt they could spare, but I would purposely just say, um, you know, I'd only probably charge a dollar at most because at the end of the day, I don't want people to pay more uh, they would want to, and I think a dollar, you know, as the maximum thing, I think that's being fair. Because, you know, considering uh, yesterday I hit 360 subscribers, thank you to the 360th su subscriber Ooh. who did that yesterday. That means a lot. It means I'm oh, just nice. 40 away from hitting that uh, that silver 400 again. I, I know I can do it. Just got to get there. But, um, yeah, that because I don't want to out. I think that's what I'm trying to say is I don't want to 
outprice anybody or have anybody think that you know they can't afford it or you know have to pay uh and you know an unrealistic thing you know i'm all about giving people what they want for something that's so that everyone can afford it because i don't consider myself to be particularly special as a youtuber because if i were i'd be having the same type of subscriber account as, as tyrone magnus and if you're listening tyrone you're awesome keep doing the reaction videos and i actually got introduced to you via your reactions to kung fury good lord that was 30 minutes of hilarity watching him do that and we introduced, <laughs> raiden, we introduced raiden to that a few months ago and he's like it's like, is this shit serious? And when just said, it gets cheap, it gets better, it gets cheesier. <laughs> that's that's just the thing that works for Kung Fury. It knows what it is, and it's unashamed of it, <laughs> which is what I think is great about it. But long long tangent there. Again, I'd only charge a dollar a month for heck if they only just wanted to give like a dollar for, as Kaiju said, for a specific video. Because I think that's that's reasonable. That's not to say that I'm uh, cheap by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, we know I, I've seen plenty of people in real life and, in YouTube, and on YouTube who are cheap, but I'm not going to name names, but I will just simply say, you know who you are. Mm -hmm. Stop front. Um, but again... I wouldn't outprice people because I think too many people do that now where they take their audiences for granted and say, hey, um, you've been with me for, you know, six months as a subscriber. I feel like I should get six hundred dollars from you to be like, screw you, dude. <laughs> like, I ain't paying you six <laughs> hundred. I mean, because, again, first and foremost, Treat your audience with respect, and then your audience, you know, and then your audience treats you with respect in the same in the same token. Um, and since Wynn is actually here to answer this question, um, Prez reminded me of something he had asked um, a year or two ago, but I never really answered it until this evening. He asked the question. Um, will I actually ever open up a Patreon so people can support um, what I do as a content creator? And at the time when he asked that, I didn't feel comfortable about addressing that. So I addressed it here uh, with the audience this evening. Um, if I were to open a Patreon, would any of you support it? And the majority have said that they would. I don't know if I'll ever go through with it or not. But if I did open one, if I did open one, would you support it? When funds permit? Uh, yeah, it would have to be a small amount for the time being, but I probably would. I was thinking of opening up a PayPal anyway, so that way, if I do get brave and feel a bit more confident about my art, I can kind of uh, <clears throat> do commissions for art pieces. Hey, I'm glad you brought that bit up. Because um, the other bit um, that was asked is, how much would you um, have as a limit for... Um, for donations, I have simply said, um, you can donate whatever you feel um, you're able to give or appropriate, but the limit I would set is um, if they were to give like a monthly thing, I'd only have it no higher than a dollar per month, which I don't think is unreasonable because, you know, I want it to be to them to feel like they can afford to contribute that and I don't want to be like one of these people where um 
you know, I would ask something like fifty dollars from somebody per month because I'm not going to ask for that because you know you got to mm-hmm. think small and yeah. You know. And then like some a lot of people who open up Patreons they would offer up different tier of rewards. So like if you donate at least one dollar, you get this thing. If you donate like five dollars a month, or if you donate twenty dollars a month, you get this thing. I'd say the easiest reward you could give is just one dollar or more. You get to my video, get to see my videos early. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. You know, just put your videos on not private, uh, unlisted, and then just share the link with your on on exclusively on your Patreon page, and then a day later, then you can uh, <clears throat> uh, you can make the videos public, and there, everyone else can see them. Yeah, that's 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 uh, potential. Um, it's like the yeah, easiest yeah. reward for any video maker to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it tends to be a godsend for video makers and artists. Mm-hmm. Ooh, um, some people have tried to make uh, Patreon exclusive content to try to convince people to come to donate. However, it, as it turns out, it's not really that wise of a move of a move because <clears throat> uh, people have found out that the views on their on their uh, Patreon ex- Patreon exclusive videos aren't good enough to warrant them n- uh, not being shown to the public. So it's like you might as well have just made it public and earn more ad revenue off of that instead than just making it for your Patreons, but. Since you're not making it, you're not you don't have had revenue for on your channel just yet. Um, perhaps you could benefit from doing exclusive videos solely to the Patreon supporters who are financially backing you. Hmm. Like I said, we're talking in um, we're talking in hypotheticals. It's something I'm yeah considering, but. Whether I'll go through of it or not, I don't know, but it's something um, I'm looking looking into.